Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, y'all. Welcome to the mental house with me, your host, Khadija. Okay, in the transgender community, uh, Coco Nadal has passed away at age 35. Um, and I believe it was foul play. Uh, the Kokomo City documentary tore through Sundance Film Festival with the Righteous Vengeance taking home two Covenant Awards. The first, the film by first-time director D. Smith, who is also a Grammy-nominated producer, singer, and songwriter, follows four black transgender sex workers whose lives are separate and distance, distance, separated by distance, but connected through experiences. This project was particularly personal for Dee Smith, who in her Sundance speech said after she transitioned, she lost everything. Unfortunately, one of the movie's commentators passed away on April 18, 2023, at the age of 35. Rashida Williams, known as Coco Dow, was a hip-hop artist whose album Bulletproof was released in January of 2022. She was a prominent member of the transgender community. Now, here's what we know about uh, her cause of death. According to Variety, the Atlanta Police Department reported that Coco was found with a gunshot wound in southwest Atlanta shortly before 11 p.m. on April 18th. She was pronounced dead at the scene. This is an especially heartbreaking loss because it comes on the heel of the success of Kokomo City at Sundance. The festival tweeted out its condolences and reiterated something Coco said to black trans women. We can do anything. We can be whatever we want to be. On Instagram, D. Smith posted about Coco's murder along with a reminder of what the documentary was truly all about. I created Kokomo City because I wanted to show the fun, the humanized, natural side of black trans women. I wanted to create images that didn't show the trauma or the statistics of murder of transgender lives. I wanted to create something fresh and inspiring. I believe I did that. We did that. D. Smith went on to say that she is still processing Coco's death, but she and her team were more encouraged now more than ever to inspire the world with her story. After Coco Moon City premiered at Sundance, Coco expressed her gratitude moving uh, with a moving post on Instagram. I will be the reason there is more opportunities and doors opening for transgender girls, she wrote. Coco then thanked Dee Smith and associate producer Dustin Lohman for giving her the opportunity to get my story out so beautifully. Thank y'all so much. What you've done here for me is going to save a lot of lives. Unfortunately, you didn't get the chance to save your own. Coco's fellow Kokomo City stars also took to social media to express their grief. In what feels like poetry, Daniela Carter wrote, Never thought I'd lose you, but I'm here standing alone without you by my side. We're sisters for life, we promise. But now that you're gone, I don't know what to do without you. I'm going crazy. I'm trying to hold it on. To keep strong, but it just doesn't feel right. I'm waiting here. My arms open, tears running down my face, ready for you to return. Even if it makes forever, my sister, if it takes, I will truly miss you. My sister, you are gone but never forgotten. Uh, Promise Dominique Silver, Kokomo City producer. Uh, to know Coco was to love Coco, he said. You was the kindest, sweetest, gentlest soul. And then added, may you rest in peace, beautiful, sweet Coco. You will be so incredibly missed. Uh, 
unfortunately, the um, killing is, you know, of transgender stars is a lot. Or transgender, trans people in general. Um, you know, and if you don't like what people do, and if you find a problem with their sexuality or their sex life, whatever it is, you know, just stay away from them. I mean, but they have a right to exist just like you do. And so it's sad to hear something like this, but it happens all the time, far too much. What we don't understand or what we don't like, we kill. Same thing with white folks when it comes to black people. Uh, you know, they've been given a, 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 a freaking bill of sales that is so unreasonable to think that you're better than everybody else and everybody else is beneath you. And then you get to run a society that way. Then you get to kill people almost beyond, and it is, beyond with impunity like the police nobody does anything and nobody cares whether you transgender whether you black whether you brown and we have to care for our own we have to care and it's really just that simple we have to care All right, y'all, tell me what y'all think about this story. Um, again, Coco passed away from the transgender community. And um, like what you hear, subscribe and share, and I'm going to see you in the next video.